What's up YouTube, how you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123 and in this video I'm going to be bringing you a detailed tour of my new desk. So here we are guys and we are back for a very very requested video and that is a tour of my brand new desk. Now for those of you who didn't see it, I did actually make a full video of the entire process of building this new desk right the way from the very first design stages right the way up to the actual build and then the installation right the way to the finished article that you can see now in front of you. Now a lot of you have said, you know, can you go into a bit more detail about some of the aspects of your new desk, you know, certain things like the wiring, um, the drawers, how everything fits together, etc., the brackets that the monitors sit on. So that's exactly what we're going to go through in this video. Now first of all, before I take the tripod off the stand and get into some detail, I'll just run you through the actual specifications of the setup itself. So first of all, the screens, there's six 27 inch LED screens. The bottom three are three cinema displays from Apple with that fantastic 1440p resolution. And the top three are three 27 inch monitors from Dell. I'll leave a link to my unboxing video of those monitors down in the description below and you can check that out. And then moving our way down, we've got the Bose Companion 5 speakers in each corner of the desk. And then just below that, on the right hand side, you can see my 2010 Mac Pro. Now, it's a 2010 version because that was the last one they actually released, believe it or not. When they do bring out the new one, I will most definitely be upgrading. Now, the Mac Pro itself. It is a quad core processor. I've got 32 gigabytes of RAM in there and it's got a dual ATI 5770 graphics cards with three ports on each one, enabling me to get this single desktop across six monitors. Now, the actual hard drive configuration inside the Mac Pro, I've got two 512 gigabyte Crucial SSD M400s and then I've also got two four terabyte SATA drives in there as well in a RAID 0 configuration. So that really is the specs of the kit that's actually sitting on the desk. The last thing in fact is the chair, which a lot of you asked me about, and I don't actually know the name or the brand of the chair, but I picked it up from a company called Viking. It was about 130 pounds, it wasn't particularly expensive, but I'm gonna be updating that very, very soon, so that's probably gonna change. Anyway guys, I'm gonna pick the camera up now off the tripod and just show you a little bit more detail around the desk itself. So here we are, you can now see the desk from the side. I think we'll start from the top and work our way down. So first of all, what I've actually got from the top here is this just, it's called Hainex. And the actual desk itself was built for me by a company called Oryx Design. And they're actually fantastic at making any kind of furniture. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Go check out their website. And if you want any kind of furniture made, they really are great. So the material itself is called Hainex. You can Google that. It's like a sort of plastic polycarbonate material. And one of the design aspects that we had was to actually leave a shelf in the back of the desk here just at the top so I could actually place some lighting in there and if I can actually get in there you can see I've just got a simple fluorescent tube in there so that's a four foot fluorescent tube that you can just see in there just to give a nice kind of backlight to the desk itself. Now this bezel goes all the way around the desk right the way along the top all the way down the sides and then joins the base of the desk just there at the bottom. Now working our way down, like I said, you can see the three monitors along the top and then the three Apple Cinema displays along the bottom. And in fact, if we just go just in behind here, you can see that there is another bezel that goes all the way around the outside. And then imprinted into that is like a backdrop where the actual brackets are themselves. Now I'll try and pull out a link to these brackets uh, for the Amazon website so you can have a look at them but they are very, very simple, very cheap brackets that just attach themselves to the back of the monitors. 
Now the Dell monitors, they just fit on with a straight visa fixing, but the Apple displays, you had to actually go out and buy this visa mount, which I believe is about 40 to 50 pounds per display. And all of these screens are all mounted on exactly the same uh, wall brackets as one another. So all absolutely identical. And what that enables me to do is actually grab a monitor and just pull it out if I need to actually get access to it. Now you can see at the moment that the back there is just still the standard MDF colour and I'm just waiting to decide what I'm going to do about that, whether I'm going to paint it, whether I'm going to actually put some lights in here or some potentially some fans as well just to help with the cooling. I'm not quite sure yet, that's why that's been left. And you can see as well the actual cables from the displays, they just drop down into the back of the desk and that actually goes all the way down to the bottom and this actual separation that we've got here all behind there is hidden by a vanity panel and all of the wires just sit behind there and in fact right the way through the entire of this desk there's drop downs all the way down the entire back of it so all of those cables can just literally drop down into the bottom section where we can hide all of that cabling. Now on the side of the desk, it's literally nothing at all apart from a tiny little hole here. And the reason I put that in was just to allow some air movement in the bottom of the base of the desk where the cover is covering everything up. Now the way that we designed it was with this little insert here where I could actually place my speakers. And like I said earlier, these are the Bose companion fives and I absolutely adore them. The sound quality and clarity is fantastic and, and I'm really thrilled with the output of those speakers. Now I've got a MacBook Pro Retina and a couple of phones there but that's not really what we're looking at at the moment. Now I actually had to go and get a mouse mat for the Magic Mouse because it didn't work on this shiny white surface and the one I went for was the Just Mobile, uh, I think it's called an Alu Pad and it's a really really nice attractive mouse pad i really like it works extremely well the only thing i'm not too keen on is the fact it's a bit rough and it does make a little bit of noise when you're moving the mouse around so i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do with that yet but at the moment that works just fine now what we've also got along here is another insert in the middle now in there we've got my Zoom H2N microphone that I like to use and we've also got the controller or the head unit for those Bose speakers which is just touch sensitive and enables you to adjust the volume just by sort of turning it left to right. Now the wires for those they just tuck around the back and go into the back of the desk again all to be hidden by that vanity panel and then over in the other corner we've got the other side of those Bose Companion 5 speakers. Now what I also designed into this desk was these two small little drawers here. Now the idea of these drawers wasn't specifically for storage, it was really just so I could kind of tuck charging cables away so I can charge my phones or, or maybe iPad or, or Nexus 10 or something like that on my desk without actually having to have wires everywhere. So these aren't particularly used for storage, although they can be, they just simply click in and then they pop up and then in there there is a fair amount of storage but the idea really for these was that a load of cables can sit in there and then I can just charge my phones on my desk and throw them back in there to tidy things up. Now again we can't see in there but at the very top and the back of those little drawers are actual holes so again the cables can drop down over the back and into the back of the desk. Now I've got the full Apple keyboard there which has to have a wire and the reason for that is just that I just do not like the wireless one so unfortunately I had to stick with the wired version for that but it doesn't look too bad I don't think and it works perfectly well. Now I'll just show you this drawer here on the other side exactly the same but in this one you can see I actually have got some stuff in there and the reason that I actually had the drawers open in this way was so I can just leave the flaps kind of placed sort of like that, they just sit there nice and neat and then I can actually have some like micro USB cables or lightning connectors hanging out so then I can just leave my phones on charge here or whatever device it might be and then when I'm finished I can just push that back in and just close the drawer nice and tight so it's all just sort of hidden away. So that's really the top of the desk there, all the way along, it's all made out of exactly the same material, looks extremely nice, doesn't get hot either or warm in any way, so when you put your hand on it, it's nice and cool to the touch and it really is an absolute pleasure to work from. 
Now, if we kind of work our way down, I'll just show you the corner of the desk here. You can see how sort of thick it is. And then inside, we've actually got this sort of brown walnut material, which just makes the bottom of the desk just that little bit more attractive underneath. And that goes all the way around the inside. Now, if I just move to the left here, and I haven't really fully decided exactly what I'm gonna do with this, you can see my Synology DS412 Plus, which is my NAS of choice, and I absolutely love that. And then what we've actually got underneath the desk is this sort of cover. And this cover enables me to get access very, very easily to that rear bottom space where we can actually get access to all of the cables and plug everything in. And they're simply connected via a couple of Allen key screws and I just unscrew them and that entire flap just lifts away and that gives me access to all of the wires for the monitors, for the computers, for USB drives, for the sub, for absolutely everything to do with all of the wiring. And what that means is that we're really left with a solution with almost zero visible wires. So exactly what I wanted. So everything really has come together absolutely perfectly. I love the aesthetics, I love the practicality of it, I love the fact that there's absolutely zero cables. It's an extremely nice material, all works extremely well, feels nice to the touch and doesn't cause any kind of issues with catching or anything like that. Anyway guys, that was a little updated desk tour for you there. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be doing my full room tour video very, very soon. And I've changed things around in this room quite considerably. So hopefully that setup tour video is gonna be online, maybe within the next few days. It, the more likes I get on the video, the more likely I am to actually record it. So if you wanna see that, make sure you hit that like button. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.